back to the shop. Today what we're going to go over is talking about getting our foot down first and then coming through the zone and throwing. So how do we do that or, or what are we even talking about? Well, to start with that landing leg, okay, so if I'm a right-handed pitcher, I'm talking about my left foot. If I'm a left-handed pitcher, we're talking about the right foot. Okay? So, when I land with that left foot, I want to try to land with that thing strong, stable, and flat on that surface. I want to try, in my opinion, to avoid landing right on that heel or on the balls of our feet. We want to land flat and help create a good, strong leg brace that we can throw against, create some torque. Okay? That's the first part. We want to make sure that, that we're landing just like that. Now, talking about getting that foot down and then I throw. So what does that mean? Well. As I'm going here, I'm coming out, I land with that toe pointed towards home plate, flat against that surface, but I'm also trying to keep my upper half closed as I land, and then I'm going to throw. So what I mean is, I'm going here, that foot is down, okay, toes pointed towards that target, my shoulders are still in a good closed position, but when that foot strikes, now I'm trying to fire that back hip while trying to delay these shoulders from coming through. So I should feel some tension in that core, almost like a rubber band that I'm pulling and then boom, I let that thing snap, which means that I'm just creating this tension here and now I release and then let that upper half whip around through, help create some arm speed and hopefully that leads to some velocity, right? So one way I can do that is let me cheat and just say, hey, I'm gonna keep my belly button facing in this direction. So if, I'm home, if home plate is over here for me, then as I'm going home, this is the position that I wanna be in and stay sideways almost as long as I possibly can. So I'm staying sideways the whole time, foot lands here, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and fire, try to delay these shoulders, that upper half from coming through just a little bit, and then feel that tension and release, and then let that upper half whip through the zone in a good relaxed state, okay? So, foot down, then throw. Last time, foot down, then I fire that hip, then my upper half comes through, and I finish out through that zone. Make sure we're not over rotating and falling off to one side, that I'm really able to finish out through that target so we can get that ball into that zone. Foot down, then throw, give it a shot, I bet it might help. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Twitter at The Pitcher Shop, and check us out at thepitchershop.com where we can help with your overall pitching development, both physical and mental.